Hey YouTube, Enlightened Arts here, coming at you with the fifth installment in the Garden Update series, with part two of the hydroponic build. The purpose of this video is just to give you guys an update on the hydroponic system I've built and have been running with uh, all natural organic nutrients. Since the last video I've added a couple new things and I just wanted to take a second to talk about that. But before I do, I just wanted to show you a size comparison of the hydroponic cucumber to one that I have growing in soil right here with some hot peppers. As you can see, the one in the hydroponic system is quite a bit bigger than the one that's grown in soil, which is letting me know that what I'm doing currently in this reservoir is working well for these plants. Another change I made to the, to the grow was I germinated this romaine lettuce seed and transplanted it into the system with just the little soil plug that it was in. And what this allows me to do is keep in, in rhythm with my organic growing. It was germinated in a completely organic soil and right now its roots are still most likely contained within this soil plug but as the plant grows the roots will reach down into the clay aggregate and find the the nutrient solution coming through from the clear tubing i'm thinking at this point that this is going to do extremely well in the system because it's it's got a lot of nitrogen in it and I, obviously that's good for leafy greens that don't need the phosphor as much phosphorus in order to fruit because they don't have fruit. It's just a leafy green. So I'm very interested to see how this one's going to do in the system. I'm thinking it'll take off. It hasn't shown any signs of shock from the transplant whatsoever. It's hasn't wilted. It's looking just like it did from the first couple minutes I transplanted it in, which to me is an extremely good sign that it, it'll be happy in this home. So since the last time I took a video of this system, I added a couple, a couple organic amendments to it that I think have greatly benefited the plants that are in it. And I have two of those right here. And I added these uh, about three days ago and the system has definitely shown some improvements, especially with the growth on this cucumber. I've been absolutely astounded with how quickly this is starting to really take off in this system and uh, it's still a little bit early but I'm really excited to check the roots and see when uh, when they really start reaching down towards the reservoir but my additions uh, three days ago I added this oyster shell flower which is a great all-natural uh, faster release form of calcium it's great it's all natural calcium is great for any micro life in your soil so any of the beneficial bacteria that's in um and that's residing in this clay aggregate is going to be substantially fed by this calcium from this oyster shell flower another uh nutrient i added was this happy frog fruit and flower and the main reason i added this was because of the the phosphorus in it as you can see it's got uh, eight parts phosphorus which is uh, typical for something like this, a fruit and flower fertilizer, slightly higher phosphorus than the nitrogen or potassium. And the phosphorus helps plants with their root growth early on, which is one of the main reasons I added this. Very shortly, I'll be adding about a half cup of soft rock phosphate, which I will go into more depth into in my next video after I add it. But now that I've added these two amendments the growth is really just starting to take off and it's doing really really well I'm interested to see how quickly this plant matures I have another romaine this is the Paris Island heirloom romaine I have another one of these growing down in soil and it's taken quite a long time to get uh, big so I'm I'm curious to see how much quicker this will mature in this system the cucumber, I believe is, according to this tag, it is 50 to 70 days to maturity. And right now it's been in here for about two and a half, three weeks. 
So I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on this, just checking to see any signs of deficiency or uh, stunted growth. One of the things that I learned in my research on hydroponics was that if you really start getting some crazy outlandish growth, it's uh, usually a sign that you might have high, the, the concentrations of the nutrients in your reservoir might be too high and it's what it does at that point is it begins uh, force feeding the plant nutrients and the plants are uptaking more nutrients than they need and at first that shows off with uh, remarkable new growth but ends with the plant starting to wilt and dying so right now the growth on this one it's not outlandish because as you can see it's only just slightly bigger than the cucumber here in the soil which is sharing this 30 gallon pot with four other plants, which is not the best spacing at all, but I was limited on pot space and these cucumbers were gonna die if I didn't transplant them. So I just went ahead and threw it in the soil with these peppers. I have one more in addition to these two over here with the aloe and the lavender. And that one's a little bit smaller which is surprising given the fact that it definitely has more space for its roots to roam around. But only time will tell what happens with these. I'm sure it'll be interesting to see. Right now my predictions are that this hydroponic cucumber is going to yield more and finish sooner than these other two. Just because through my experimentation with my nutrients I seem to have stumbled upon a, a good blend. And I'm just very excited to start seeing the results. So this marks the fifth garden update series, the second part of the hydroponic build. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the information I gave you today. If you guys have any tips or tricks with uh, these organic hydroponic setups, please leave me a comment below and let me know your opinions. Thank you for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enlighten Arts, signing off. Live, love, and learn.